We have a special project today as we renovate this old house and try to bring it back to its former glory. This is our bathroom, and it doesn't look like much now, but it's going to look beautiful soon because we are ready to finish the walls. We have decided to stay far away from drywall and just do wood walls in our home. So we made these custom tongue and groove boards that we're going to be installing today. As you can see, I have one started. I got that starter piece done last night so I could be ready for the project today. Just making sure it was level and good and secure. The first piece is the most important piece. So that's locked in. Let's get installing the rest. This wall is tricky because we have our hall wong, hall wong, hall wong toilet. <laughs> we have our wall hung toilet. So we have several cutouts here, here. We have an outlet. We have sink hookups, lots of holes, lots of measuring. Let's get going. I mean, this doesn't have to be perfect, right? Just. I guess not. Cause it's behind the toilet. Mm -hmm. But we want it as nice as we can. So I finally get to put my new boss stitch finish nailer to the test. So far it's going really good. I bought this one because it was a good quality nailer and it has this smart point feature, which a lot of nail guns, they have that safety thing that you push in. Well, they have it on the front. This one is behind and you can see where you're placing your nail a lot easier, a lot more precision. So. It's actually working really well, getting those nails right in the groove, right where I want it, and having no problems. So, trying that out. Well, that part is done, which isn't 100% perfect, but I'm not looking for perfection because the toilet will cover this. It's good, it looks good. This one's a little tricky because we have the toilet carrier bolts, the top of the drain, and the bottom of the water inlet for the toilet. So a lot of cuts to do, we'll try to figure this out. And I just wanted to point this out. The reason all these yellow things are on here, these are just protectors so that if you were drywalling or whatever, you don't get dust and mud inside your toilet fixture and mess it all up. Uh, so that's why those are on here. All this yellow comes off, it's just plastic. Here is what the nails look like, set in pretty perfectly. And when those tongues and grooves are together, you won't see them. So it's a very finished looking wall with no extra work and we love that.
you know of what I'm really mine? Mm -hmm. We'll put those back on there just to keep them from getting lost and be beat up. And Right down there? Now it is. There. Hmm. Okay. We're done with the hard part. Guys, these cuts, well, they were a little bit tricky. I had to keep running back and forth to get them right, doing multiple tries, but we got them. It looks all good. Now it gets a little bit easier for a little while. We're gonna throw some boards up. But I am loving how it looks. Me too. We have a little scrap piece that we use to tap them down when they don't sit right. That way we don't damage the boards with the hammer. And then we just set a little nail right in the tongue. We can't nail in this zone. That's our toilet carrier and the water tank is hidden in the wall. Right here, all this blocking is for our sink because we're doing a wall mount sink. Just to show you guys what's going on inside this wall. So we could probably get another one or two boards on here before we have to start cutting out around the flush valve. I have never done a wooden walled bathroom before. No. Three, seven, nine. Let me take a moment to answer a couple of questions that we got in a previous video. You guys saw us finishing boards with a white stained finish and a clear sealer. And while they were drying, we were stacking them up on these kind of special drying racks. And we got some questions about it. Where did you guys get those cool drying racks? Well, let me explain to you. Previously, we showed you guys these. These are stack racks. And I'll leave a link to them in the description. Now stack racks are a pretty simple product, but very useful. And what they do is allow you to create racking systems, stackable racks, to dry painted materials. They're really ideal for painting doors. And what you do is you screw these into the ends of the doors, one at each corner, and the door is suspended off the floor and you can paint it. Now, the alternative use is what we we're doing is making a drying rack. And one option to do that is to just cut a two by four as long as you need and screw this into the ends of the two by four and you essentially have a mini sawhorse. Now, I didn't want to do that. I wanted something that was quick to assemble, disassemble, and very sturdy. So, this is what I came up with. I found that a piece of three quarter inch EMT conduit, so this is just metal conduit from the store, fit pretty good into those holes. 
It was a little bit loose though, so I wrapped it with electrical tape and I found that exactly, it has to be exactly three wraps of electrical tape fits into this hole pretty snugly. And if I do that on both ends, sometimes I bop it on the floor to make sure it's on there good. But now I have a drying rack. But like I was saying, if you don't want to deal with conduit, you can screw some boards to these just the same and use them in the same exact way. Now the other question that we got was about our processing table. We have a table that we have set up for finishing the wood. And it's basically a wire mesh table. And a lot of people wanted to know, where did we get the table? That is also a custom setup. The base is a Bora Centipede work stand, which is basically a collapsible work table that's portable and easy to move around and set up where you need it. On top of the Bora Centipede, I placed the metal rack that I had left over from a shelving unit. So that's just a four foot by two foot wire shelf. A lot of you guys will remember that video, but we had a leftover shelf from that unit and that's what I'm using it for. The wire shelf makes a really great surface to finish my boards on. I like it. So custom work table, custom stack racks, and that's how we did it. We're making huge progress and I'm loving it. It looks beautiful in here. The wood is going up. You can see we left two openings for wall cabinets. This is such a thick wall that we want to take advantage of that space and not waste it and put in some big eight inch deep medicine cabinets. This one's going to be a mirror. That one probably won't be a mirror, but it'll be uh, similar. Now we're getting down to the point where we're actually running out of wood. We have a few more pieces, but we need to finish some more boards before we can finish the room. And most of all, we need the ceiling boards up before the walls touch because I want the walls to come up to the bottom of the ceiling. So that's what's gonna be next is processing more boards, making more of this tongue and groove, finishing it and getting it up here. Hopefully getting the ceiling covered and then we can finish doing these walls all the way around. But as you can see, we made some really awesome progress anyway. So. That's all we have for now. We're going to take a break and work on the rest of the boards to finish this room. That'll be coming next. Ashley and I have some updates and improvements that we're doing in the workshop to make this a little easier, a little nicer, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll be showing you those in the next video along with the finishing and the ceiling. Hopefully we can get all that done soon. So thanks for watching and until next time, take care. See ya.